Hello there, let's talk today about the Hike Vision camera changing the date automatically. As you can see, I have the date here and it's not correct. As we can read, it's 1 1 2004. It's not correct. When I change the date, the date automatically comes back to this one, the default one, and I need to fix that, okay? I'm gonna teach you how to fix that. Let me just check here the configuration for the date. So when I come to system settings, time settings, I have the correct time zone for my camera, Eastern time, USA, Canada for my case. And now I can come here and sync with my computer. Sync with computer time, so just hit save. And now the camera is synced with my computer. Let me just click here on live view. And then you're gonna see that the date is correct. Just wait for it to load, it takes a while. Here we go, 104-2024. The time is also correct, so everything is good right now, but after some time, this comes back to 2004, okay? It can also happen with your NVR or your DVR, okay? If you're having this kind of problem, there are different solutions. For NVR, usually you need to change the battery because the battery is not holding the time, but for the camera, it's different because the camera is connected here via cable. So it's supposed to, uh, to have the date correctly here, but it's not working, right? So what I found out here is that an external device is changing the date of the camera, all right? So it could be the NVR that's connected to the camera, could be a software that's connected to the camera, could also be a uh, high key connect like this one. I have high key connect here, connecting to my camera, as you can see, working, right? So you need to find out which one it's making the date change here, right? Let me just refresh here and see if the date's wrong. Sometimes it takes one, one minute, sometimes it takes five minutes to change, okay? So let's check here, it's still uh, 104, 2024. Now it's 12, 24, let's just wait for a while and I'll come back and see if the date changes here so I can show you the solution, all right? Okay, so I'm back. As you can see, after three minutes or so, the date here is wrong again, 1-1-2004, one, one, okay? And I didn't change the date here. So something is really wrong here with this camera and uh, the date is keep changing by itself, okay? So I found a solution for this one here in my case is my DVR that's changing the date, okay? So let me just come here back to the configuration so I can show you here on time settings. I can come here and sync the time again. Here we go, save succeeded. And then I come here to the live view and I can check the time again. Just wait for it to load. Here we go, 104.2024, now it's 12. 26, okay? And if I just wait after three minutes or so, it's going to change by itself again, right? So if I come here to my NVR, here we go, I also have the NVR in the network, and I just log in into it. I'm just to this, log in here. And from here, from my NVR, I can have the live view. So a camera zero one. So the NVR is basically connected to the camera, see? The date's correct here, but if I leave the NVR working there, the NVR is going to change the date here on the camera. It sends a command there, so the date changes, right? So what I'm going to do here is just reboot the, the device here. So you can see it's rebooting right now. So I'm, the test that I'm doing here is just reboot the NVR and see when, when the NVR comes back, if it changes the date here on the camera. Right? So the camera still has this date. When I refresh here, everything is correct. I have the correct date and time. Just take a while to refresh. It loads, you see 104-2024, and then if you are still rebooting here, okay? When it reboots, it comes back, you can see the login screen. Here we go, it's rebooting, I just heard the beep. When I heard this beep, it takes uh, about 30 to 40 seconds to the NVR to boot up. And then when it boots up, you can see here it changes the date, right? So I'm just refresh here, you see, it's not changing yet. So here we go, let's just wait for it to load. Here we go, 104.2024. Here the NVR is still rebooting. As, as soon as I see here the NVR 
up, I see the date changing here, okay? So let me just keep here. So you see now it's 1228. Just bear with me, I'm doing this in real time. So you'll see the problem really happens. You see, change it, just change it here. 1-1-2004. One, one, and as you can see here, then if you are, it's ready to log in, okay? So it just finished boot up. And here when I uh, uh, log in, I can see my NVR and here the live view, the NVR can show the camera. If I just click here, it loads the camera with the incorrect time, okay? So what's happening here, guys, is that the NVR is changing the camera time. I just need to reboot it and I see that's the problem, okay? And if I don't reboot it from time to time, the NVR is going to send a command to the camera so it changes the time here automatically, even if I've, I'm not changing myself. So what I have to do uh, to solve the problem is come here to the NVR configuration and set the time correctly. If you forgot to set the time here for some re reason, you're gonna have this problem. So here on system settings, you can come to time settings and then here you can change the date. As you can see here, I have the correct time zone, Eastern time, USA, Canada for my case. And here I need to sync the time. Let's say sync with my computer and save. Okay, now I have the time for the NVR as 104 2024. So it's correct now. And then when I come here to live view, I'm just checking the camera. Here we go. The camera has the correct time. Okay. And now let me just test again. So have the camera here with the correct time. One more time here. Just refreshing and check the date with the camera. It's correct, right? And let me just now reboot the NVR. I can come here to the configuration and maintenance and reboot the NVR, okay? I'm doing this one more time so you can check if it's working or not, okay? For your case, you need to check your NVR and other device as well, okay? The NVR is rebooting here. Uh, meanwhile, let me just check something else here. If you use this IVMS 4200, that's the client. Let me just log in. So you can see that that could also be the problem, right? If you're having some issues with the, with the NVR or any device here, let me just log in. Here, I just heard the beep for the NVR, so it's putting up. Meanwhile, I'm connecting here the camera. Uh, connect here the IVMS 4200 so you can see the camera. Here in main view, live view, I see the camera, it's working. The date is correct here via software as well. Let me just check here the NVR is still rebooting. We'll take some time. One more time here in the camera, refresh it. Okay, still with the correct time. Let's see if it's still the correct time. Here we go, it is. And if you are still rebooting, it'll take a while and it's coming back. Okay, so with login screen, it's back. And let me check the date now in the camera. It's still there, it didn't change at the time. Remember last time it changed it by itself uh, as soon as the NVR came back up. Now refresh one more time and here we go. It's correct now. So I'm good to go. And here in the NVR, let me just log in to double check if everything is okay here, okay? So I have live view, once more, connect the camera. I have the correct date and time here. And I also have the correct time, date and time here in the software, right? So everything working as expected, pretty good. But just to make sure if you are having problem with the NVR, and when you reboot the NVR, you still have the problem, just make sure you can come here and close the software and also close in different computers if you have. Open it in a different computer, you can come here and just right click here to exit the IVMS server as well. Hit OK here. And also here on the Hike Connect, you have the camera live here. Let me just get some focus here, guys. Uh, here we go. Okay, so you can come here as well and you can just close the application like this, right? Just make sure you don't have anything connected to your camera. That way you can find out 
which is causing the issue here with the date and time, not correct, change automatically. The idea is just try, right? You, ch you try the NVR connecting with the camera, you power it off and change the date and time on the camera, see if the NVR is, is causing the, the issue, and also try with the software, also try with the high key connect. After trying everything, you're gonna make sure that one of them is causing the problem. Then you need to set the date there and fix the problem, right? So here, let me just come back with the high key connect and see if now the date is not changing there. So I have the high key connect here live. Okay, I'm just get some focus here. It's live. It's working, the date is correct here. So this guy is not causing the problem. You can also check here with the three dot settings. Here you have time zone. Just make sure you have the correct time zone here for your case. In my case, Eastern time, US and Canada. And I'm good to go here also with my high key connect, right? So just make sure everything's correct here with every device that you have, and then you can fix this problem with the camera changing the date and time automatically by itself, right? I hope this helps. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.